this is Lily Goldfarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling adaptive because today our quote of the day is, those who cannot change their minds cannot change anything by George Bernard Shaw. This quote is all about adaptation. And now, more than ever, we see how much we need to be flexible and adaptive so that we can survive and even thrive. With the COVID-19 pandemic, we see so many people lose their jobs, their businesses, and run into major family difficulties. The people who will get past this pandemic in a good way will only be people who are flexible in their mind and can adapt quickly to new circumstances. We see that after the violent winds of a cyclone, or a hurricane, only those trees who are strongest but also the most flexible stay in their place while all else is either torn down or blown away. Nowadays, engineers know this and build the new buildings to be flexible enough to sway and move, although with a very strong foundation. And this flexibility and strong foundation is their secret behind their strength. Anything that resists change will fall and crumble or get blown away. When change is unexpected, as what happened now with the case of uh, COVID-19, only those people who can adapt the fastest and are flexible enough to understand that change needs to happen fast will succeed in getting out of the situation stronger than they went into it. An open mind is a necessity for survival. I want to tell you about something that I learned throughout my research. About uh, 75,000 years ago, the human population suffered a great blow when the supervolcano at Lake Toba in Sumatra, Indonesia, erupted. The eruption had the highest explosivity rating of any known eruption on Earth. And this eruption led to what is known as a global volcanic winter, where six to ten years uh, following the eruption had lowered temperatures of up to 15 degrees lower for each season than before the eruption, 15 degrees Celsius. Now this devastated life on Earth and um, led to a major dwindling of the human population, leaving less than 10,000 pairs of humans all over the face of the Earth. Only those able to adapt to the new circumstances were able to survive. Now even Charles Darwin said that it is not the strongest of the species that survives, nor the most intelligent. It is the one that is most adaptable to change. Adaptability and flexibility of mind are necessary, but not only for our survival, also for our success. Throughout our life, we can plan and plan, but there will be times when unexpected situations come into our life and throw most of our plans away. And this does not mean that we have to give up on our goals, but it does mean that we have to be flexible enough to find different solutions. It requires us to think outside of our normal line of thinking and definitely to get out of our comfort zone and do things that we are not used to doing. Adaptability is crucial for living a happy life. Even in relationships, things change over time and this will require change from you as well. Also with children, they grow up and their, changes, uh, their needs change um, throughout time. Um, the more adaptable and flexible you are, the easier life will be for you and the happier you will be. Now, you may lose a few battles along the way, but if you are flexible enough to adapt quickly and to make the necessary changes, you can even win the war. You must understand quickly what you can change and what is not in your power to change. And when you see what you can change and what needs to change, then do it. Have the courage to make the changes with proper judgment and self-discipline. A person who thinks he knows it all is rigid and inflexible and will have a very hard time living a good life because life is constantly in change and we have to be adaptable. In the television show Survivor, you see this a lot. The person who wins in the end is not the person who wins all of the battles during the season and is not even the strongest person there. It is the person who is the most adaptable to the difficult challenges that happen every day throughout the show. And we can all learn to become more adaptable by being more open, listening more, 
learning more, learning new skills, and by accepting that we may sometimes be wrong. When we work on ourselves, we become more adaptable, better skilled, and also happier and more fulfilled. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that will help you move your life to a better place for you. So the question of the day is, where in my life am I rigid and resistant to change? And how can I be more flexible to change and improve my skills and learn more to improve that area of my life? As usual, I recommend writing this question in your coaching sessions so that you can look over them from time to time and see how you are improving your life and to make sure that you are improving your life. So to finish this video off, I will uh, provide you with an affirmation. And the affirmation of the day is, I am thankful for new challenges in my life because they help me grow and make me stronger. I am thankful for new challenges in my life because they help me grow and help me become stronger. Now tell this affirmation to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition, an affirmation has the power to alter your life. So thank you very much for joining. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button if you want to be notified every time I upload a new video. Also, please visit my website, The Gorilla Diet, for anything to help you move your health and wellness to a better place for you. Thank you very much for joining.